Special Prosecutor Nathan Wade has announced his resignation from the Donald Trump Fulton County election subversion case. We're gonna get into the events that led to this and the criticism from the judge of the AG in a little bit. But first, we do wanna show you the letter that was sent to Funny Willis announcing that he'd be resigning. You can see it there and we'll read just a little bit of what he said in announcing it. Uh, I am offering my resignation in the interest of democracy and dedication to the American public and to move the case forward as quickly as possible. Uh, now, Nathan Wade uh, taking himself off of this case resigning means that Fonnie Willis will go forward in the case. Um, a new lead prosecutor will need to either be hired or appointed from within her team of lawyers. And uh, so that's how they're responding to the developments that we will um, go into great detail on. We also wanted to give you the response of the main target of this investigation, Donald Trump facing a half dozen counts in regards to his attempt to overturn the results of that election. He talked about Nathan Wade resigning by saying this, the funny Willis lover, Mr. Nathan Wade Esquire, nice of him to give him the title, has just resigned in disgrace as per his inherent reading of the judge's order today. Nathan was the special, in more ways than one, prosecutor engaged by funny, pronounced Fawny Willis, I guess, why is he clarifying that? We'll get into it, there are reasons, they're racist. To persecute Trump for Gregor Joe Biden is DO injustice for purposes of election interference and living the life of the rich and famous. What is going on with him today? This is the equivalent of deranged Jack Smith getting canned big stuff, something which should happen in the not too distant future. Okay, so he's the lover. And he was special in more ways than one or whatever. It's a former president of the United States. And, um, and he's talking about how her name is pronounced. And it's not lost on me that Alina Haba also had weird things to say about the pronunciation of her name on the news earlier this week. Um, and they're prosecuting him for election interference and for living the life of the rich and famous. Like, you, you didn't call Brad Raffensperger and try to get him to make up 11,000 votes because you were living large or had a nice mansion. What are you talking about? So, look, I honestly don't know. They're somewhat rhetorical questions. Cenk, what do you think about this development and Trump's reaction? Yeah, so first of all, the more important stuff is what actually happened in, the, in, in regards to the case. And yeah, I, I agree with the judge on all counts. Fawny Willis took a ridiculous risk. Uh, in in doing this, and he even questioned whether you know you should believe her. But overall, the case goes on. That's the most important thing because the case has nothing to do with the relationship of uh, Willis and Wade. That, you know that's a different problem, in my opinion, for the people of Fulton County to deal with. You know, the, directing some public money towards a boyfriend if that's what happened, etc. Uh, but in terms of whether that affects Donald, whether Donald Trump did it or not. No, <laughs> that doesn't affect the case at all. And the judge said it, the case goes on, he doesn't affect it. Wade's gotta go, he does, etc. In terms of Trump's reaction, I mean, the buffoon's gonna buffoon, right? So that he was always gonna say something stupid. And if he, he's trying to make phony sound like phony, why not just write phony instead of F-A-U-N-I? I, I don't, who knows, who knows what's going on inside his very empty mind. Uh, I, I mainly picture a game of Pong. Where his one brain cell keeps <laughs> bouncing from ba ding, ba ding, ba ding. Those are right? like sound effects he makes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Bing bong. <laughs> and so, I, uh, you know, and he says it's gonna happen to Jack Smith next. No, it's not. He's making stuff up. He's never said anything true in his life. So his reaction is the usual juvenile stuff. I'm not surprised by that. Uh, but mainly, I don't really ca care what happens to Fonny Willis and her career. Who knows what's gonna happen from here? I can speculate later. What I care about is the case, and the case survives. Other than the counts that were dismissed, we can get into that too. But Mondale, I'm curious what you think. A lot of mainstream media don't give you honest news. We do, you know why? Because of you. Paid membership on YouTube makes all the difference. Hit the join button below, and you become the hero that sustains us. Yeah, I mean, that's important, that, that, that point right there, Jink. Like the fact that the case is still on, Trump is still on trial for trying to steal an election, right? And he's talking about disgrace and all of the things he had to say about uh, the attorney that stepped down, her lover. Um, it's hilarious to me that he's not, he finds this disgraceful, but not him trying to lose, I mean, still an election that he lost. Not that he has been, you know, found liable for rape. 
That's not disgraceful. And it, what this judge did do was give too much win, too much, too long for a motion, a motion um, that he didn't believe was uh, grounded in reality or facts, right? So the problem is when he talked about the appearance of impropriety or, or, or appearance of anything, it just gives way into the Trump argument. And, and I think all, all of those people, because if we really cared about appearance, then Trump would not be the Republican nominee. So they don't care about appearance. And the same people that was praising his judge for dropping three charges this day today in history, they began to talk trash about him and call him a leftist and said he was a plant et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, because of the appearance is the only reason. He, the judge himself said there was no, no conflict of interest that prevented this case from happening in this county by this DA. The sad part for Trump is he's too blinded by what he thinks is a victory of what's about to happen to him. He's just unleashed all of the fear. And the worst thing can happen to him is if, if finally Willis does take over this case as lead prosecutor herself, because she's going to be a ninja in that court at him. Yeah. Yeah, I just, this whole thing is so utterly, uh, utterly point. Like, if you, if you're, if you're a MAGA person, you should be so mad at Trump for all of this. I don't mean because he tried to overturn the results of an election. I know that you don't care about democracy or whatever, but that he did all of this so pointlessly. Like, think about all of the different legal challenges that he's facing, the criminal cases that are coming forward. Like, he has this Georgia case. Even if he had succeeded in getting Brad Raffensperger to find him the 11,000 votes. He needed to flip like three other states. It wasn't gonna happen. This is all pointless. Storming the Capitol on January 6th, Mike Pence can't save you, buddy. It was pointless. And that's another trial. Paying off Stormy Daniels, everybody already knows that you're a horrible, horrible person. That was probably wasted money. Melania is under no illusions as to who you are. That was pointless. The stealing of the classified documents, what did he gain from that? It's not even like he achieved his most subversive dishonest goals by committing these crimes. He accomplished nothing by committing these crimes except guaranteeing that he'd spend years facing legal challenges. They're gonna be a major distraction and waste of money during an election year. And along the way, the, the needless constant mockery of the names of black women, they cannot pass up an opportunity. Whether it's him or Alina Haba or Tucker Carlson with Kamala Harris, like, I love that they they continually complain about being called racist, and they can't even they're not even satisfied to just have the massive wide scale systemic racism that they baked into our our country and our economy. They have to have the petty little conversational bigotry too. Utterly uh, stupid. Thanks for watching. If you become a member, you get to watch all this ad free, except for of course this ad. Still hit the join button below.